Hey, what's going on? Mark here, and today we're in my workshop. Okay, it's just my garage. Start the video. Like I was saying, here in my workshop, I'm gonna build a super cheap, super easy DIY PVC miniature greenhouse or cold frame. Uh, I saw the instructions online and it looks super simple. So let me show you what you need. So you'll need several feet of PVC pipe for this, anywhere between three quarters of an inch and maybe up to an inch and a half. I bought one inch and I bought two 10 feet pieces, although you could buy four five feet pieces if you want. We're gonna cut them up. And you need six of these three-way fittings and four of the 45 degree angle fittings. And the instructions call for snap clamps. I couldn't find them, so I'll just be cheap and use some zip ties. For the longer pieces of PVC, I'm gonna need three lengths that are 24 inches, six that are 12 inches, and four pieces that are 10 inches in length. And to get those, I'm gonna use these little PVC cutters right here. So I need to measure these out, and uh, I need to be smart about it and not end up cutting myself off a chunk that I can't use, or being short. So there's 24, another 24, and another 24. This is my 24 sections. There we go. Nice clean cut. What's nice about using these uh, PVC pipe cutters is they don't make a mess. You know, you could use a hacksaw for this or some other kind of electrical saw, but you'd be making a, a big mess, spitting PVC pipe everywhere. That's just really nasty, really bad to breathe in. The downside of this is if you had to cut any more PVC than this, you probably want, uh, you know, electrical or mechanical advantage because this takes a lot of work. On the plus side, it's a great grip workout. We've got all of our pieces cut, three 24 inch lengths, six 12 inch lengths, and four 10 inch lengths. Now it's time to start assembling. First, lay out your four corner pieces. Next, put the two of the longer 24 inch lengths and attach those for the long side. And then for the short side, attach two of the 12 inch lengths. Now to build it up, we'll take our 10 inch short pieces, put one of those on each corner, and then the next step is going to be to put these 45 degree elbows on each of the corners pointing toward each other to make a little roof, like so. And now I'll take uh, my other final remaining pieces I have, my short lengths, pop them in each of the 45s, and all we have left is one of our 24 inches and a couple of these three ways. Then take our last 24 inch, put on top of the roof, and there we go, easy as that. It's all assembled. And um, I'm not gonna cement anything together. That way I can take it apart and reassemble it or change it if I want. Looking at it right now, it does bow out ever so slightly, but that's fine. There's more room for the plants up top. You could obviously change the lengths of any of these to change the width, the height, the size as much as you want. Now that our frame is built, we need to cover it with something to retain the heat in. That's the point of a greenhouse, right? Ideally, I would use greenhouse plastic. However, the quarantine has gone into effect, and so I don't know where I can get any. So what I'm gonna use here is just this, you know, painter's plastic. That's what I had laying around. And what I've read is this will actually get destroyed by the UV light and break down in three or four months, but I'll test it out here on the channel and let you know how it works. I just rolled it out here, and now I'm gonna cut it a little longer than what I think I need, just so I have some excess to play with. If 
voila, there you go. Uh, may not be pretty, but you get the idea. I'll take some time to clean up that plastic and then put it out in the garden. And now since we're early spring, I can start planting stuff directly in the ground and use this greenhouse to help give it a head start. Until next time, I'll see you in the forest.